The International Consortium of Investigative Journalists was launched in 1997. Its mission? To extend globally the Center for Public Integrity's no stone unturned style of investigative journalism in the public interest. I knew that the center model could be replicated other places, but I also knew the most efficient way to do it would to get the best investigative reporters on planet Earth, literally identify them, make sure that we could work with them. We said we, we want to create a network of people who think like we do, who care about the accountability of power, and who have the skills to, to take on these, these very tough targets, organized crime bosses and, and government corruption and, and, and multinational corporations. The International Consortium of Investigative Journalists recognizes that many of the issues that are of importance to all our countries are global issues, whether it's terrorism, global warming, the shortage of water. The corrupt have no borders, no limits, and journalists have to have such an organization in order to have no limits. In Romania and in the region, we faced a lot of compromised journalism, copy-paste journalism, advertisement racketeering, surveillance, violence, threats. With ICIJ I can get out of this swamp. I can get to participate in regional or international stories. I am connected to this network of professionals worldwide and I am connected in Washington with editors, fact-checkers, lawyers. I feel like someone's got my back. ICIJ helps to give you that visibility. If your report is ready, if the newspapers, the magazines within your country will not publish it, the ICIJ can own it and then use that global platform to send that information around the world. Using collaborative, cross-border investigative techniques, the International Consortium has released a series of groundbreaking reports and books with global impact. ICIJ has tackled topics such as the privatization of scarce water resources, political lobbying by unsavory governments, and war profiteering contractors in Iraq and Afghanistan. The windfalls of war project revealed that Halliburton was the largest war contractor, an investigation that won the prestigious George Polk Award. It is the only time in U.S. history that journalists tracked who was getting rich from war during the war. It works 24 hours a day, seven days a week for New Year and Easter days. Okay. One of ICIJ's most ambitious projects, produced by a team of 22 reporters in 14 countries, was Tobacco Underground. The investigation tracked the global trade in smuggled cigarettes. Our investigation exposed a multi-billion dollar business all over the world, uh, a black market that is fueling corruption and that is robbing governments of millions of dollars on in lost tax revenue. The lead story used undercover video to reveal a network of renegade factories across Eastern Europe producing billions of contraband cigarettes. Those cigarettes are flooding the European Union. The investigation also used video to profile the massive underground industry that makes China the world leader in counterfeit cigarettes. The challenge, I think, generally with investigative reporting is figuring out how to make these sometimes overwhelming stories, stories that seem a little bit abstract to people, more tangible. And having the actual video footage, I think, made the difference in our ability to tell that story and make it come alive. The information we have from the Tobacco Underground investigation has allowed us to use real examples of what's happening in different parts of the world to influence governments. Exposure to tobacco smoke and tobacco consumption kills more people than HIV, AIDS, TB, and malaria combined, and it's totally preventable. And to address this issue, there is an international treaty that has been negotiated and adopted. The work done by CIJ is allowing us to have much more of an influence on the development of the treaty. In addition to influencing the actions of governments, corporations, and crime syndicates, the consortium's international investigations have been cited by hundreds of publications in dozens of languages. This investigative work has also won a host of major journalism awards, helping solidify ICIJ's status as a premier global news organization. This is Kate Wilson reporting from Copenhagen for the International Consortium of Investigative Journalists. ICIJ reporters traveled to Copenhagen as part of its climate change lobby investigation, an eight-country look at the efforts by industry to weaken the outcome of a global treaty to reduce greenhouse gases. The story started as a center project, but it's not a U.S. story. This is a global story because what we emit affects every other country in the world. 
um, similarly with the EU or China. ICIJ works tirelessly to produce its own brand of award-winning journalism. But it also takes the time to honor and foster excellence in the cross-border investigative journalism of others. The Pearl Awards, named after slain Wall Street Journal reporter Daniel Pearl, are presented every other year. And the ICIJ-sponsored Pearl Project has assembled a team of Georgetown University students to investigate the full story behind his murder in Pakistan in 2002. We're basically building a family tree of the suspects who are involved in Danny's kidnapping and murder. On a practical level, we are planning to solve Danny Pearl's murder. Technology is playing a key role in ICIJ's work. Its members collaborate in virtual online teams around the world. Its stories are now followed by thousands through social media like Facebook and Twitter. And its staff produces a weekly web feature that highlights the best investigative reporting worldwide. The network is also playing a lead role in the Ujima project, a series of portals and databases that provide unprecedented global access to public records on arms sales, foreign lobbyists, international aid, and more. At the same time, ICIJ is building up the network's core capacity and expanding its role as a nerve center for some of the most in-depth and intrepid journalism in the world. In India, in China, in Brazil, there are new investigative teams, there are reporters who, who are working with computer-assisted journalism, and, and they're asking the right questions, and they're demanding the right answers. These are the people that, that we're starting to work with. Consortium Internacional de Periodistas Investigativos. Agbajo Amoni Roni. Agbaye. Periodista Naglalantad ng Katotohanan. International Consortium van Onderzoeksjournalisten. The International Consortium of Investigative Journalists. A.